Hey guys, I'm back, Lauren M. Powers. Boom, with raw and real behind the scenes talk on one of my escapades. And this one's gonna be about working with Justin Bieber. Yes, JB. Well, where do I start? Okay, so my agent sends me an audition tape and this was during COVID. And so it was a self tape, which I love because then I don't have to drive up to Los Angeles or Hollywood, you know, two hours there, two hours back in traffic, parking, the whole thing, meeting, you know, the casting director, going in and just doing a live, just like this is on, on camera, everything's just videotaped. So this is a self tape and it was kind of silly. They said, I'd say, I don't remember, they said I had to dance around to some, any song that I like while eating. So like eating food and dancing <laughs> to some silly song. I don't know, it was really funny. I just did it in my living room. It took me about 10 minutes. So I just did it, sent it in, and that was the end of it. But then I got a call that I am booked. I'm like, sweet, we like that. And then, um, so I have to drive, drive up to LA. It's all NDA, non-disclosure agreements, right? They don't tell you who the artist is the record label or any of this kind of stuff. You just have to show up and hope for the best. <laughs> and so I'll never forget. So I go there. It was at the Biltmore, which is in downtown Los Angeles, which is a, you know, nostalgic, beautiful hotel. And the whole grand ballroom was rented. There's security everywhere. It was kind of a big deal. We get there, I go right into uh, hair and makeup. And there was about, I don't know, it seems like about a hundred of us that all had to go through the process of getting the, your hair done, getting your makeup done, and then there was the wardrobe. That was fun. The wardrobe stylist had about 10 outfits for me, and he wanted to put me in this like clear plastic raincoat thing that was super cool, but the outfit that was underneath didn't fit right. Then I was in some crazy gown that weighed like 900 pounds. That didn't zip up the back the way I wanted it to, and it was too heavy, I didn't like it. Um, God, they just put me in so many different things. I literally was the last person fitted for the wardrobe to go to set. And then I'll never forget, I was in these orange strappy sandals that matched this orange blazer, which they put me in the very last thing I put on it was this bright orange blazer with a blue like stole thing. And I think that's why I got the coverage I did because it really stood out. So I was very happy with the choice and I was comfortable except for the shoes. Oh my gosh. I literally looked like I had, not to offend anybody, but like I had polio or something because like, I couldn't walk in these shoes. The PA had to literally escort me down from the makeup and wardrobe area down to the set. You had to go over all these cords and there's so much lighting. It was a huge production, you guys, huge. <laughs> and I still don't know who the artist is, right? Nobody does. And so I had to go over all these cords and I'm walking, the guy's like practically carrying me and they were waiting for me because I was literally the last person. So the director finally gets me, puts me in a seat. And there's, you know, all the people in all their different costumes and you'll see in the video. It was really cool. They put me way in the back, but the guy goes, you know, you just face forward. And so I started making friends with the people sitting there because it's normally like it's all day. You, when you're set, you don't move, that's it. You shoot the whole thing right there. So I made some friends real quick and then I saw this female director, she kept looking at the whole set and then she kept looking at me and I can feel her energy staring at me. And so here comes the PA over, over to me. He's like, I'm sorry, ma'am, we're gonna have to move you over here. I'm like, okay, when you're on these sets, you just do what you're told when you're talent. You, you just follow directions, right? And you wanna work again. And um, so then they move me to this other spot and then he goes back and then I can see her looking again. And I'm like, I know she's looking at me because there's again a hundred something people on this set, right? So here he comes again. I'm sorry, we'd have to move you one more time. I'm like, fine. They move me again. He goes back again. She looks again and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is getting silly. Everybody's watching. Everybody's already set except me. So everybody's just staring at me. And then there was a table for four four seats and there was a stand-in which you know is the talent the lead you know person whoever it's gonna be is where that stand-in is and then there the four chairs and so the last time he comes and gets me and he's like okay come here he moved my friend the only person I knew that was on the whole set 
that him and I had done some music videos before. They moved him out and put me in, and he's like, you, you know what? <laughs> he was all mad at me, and I'm like, sorry, buddy, I'm just following directions. And they moved me into that seat, which was right next to the lead talent. So I'm like, sweet, it's like the best seat in the entire set, right there, right next to the lead. And so I'm sitting there, I'm like, you know what, I really wanna work with Pink. I've worked with Lady Gaga, Jennifer Lopez, Iggy Azalea, Jennifer Hudson, Katy Perry, and now I'm just sitting there going, pink, oh my gosh, it would be so amazing if it's pink, pink, it could be, right? Pink, pink, pink. So they roll back the sound, the music, and the sound starts coming on, and then here he comes, wasn't pink, JB comes walking on, they move the stand in out, He's singing his thing, he goes by the music girls and makes his way and sits down at the table like right next to me. And here he is, pink hair, pink sweatshirt, pink pants, and pink shoes. And the whole time we're rolling, all I can think of is I need to be more specific with my, my intention and my manifestation skills because he came in solid pink, but I should have said pink the singer. But it was great. I love JB. He was so much fun. It was the yummy video. I'm sure we'll, you know, have this showing for you guys. You can see the orange and they just, cameras just kept going round and round and round. And so the, you never know how it's going to be on the final clip, but it's, gosh, we were there, I don't even know how many hours filming, filming, because we had the dancers jumping up on the tables. We had all this crazy food and so much tables of food with these weird jello concoctions because it was the yummy video. So I guess there's a huge meaning behind it, which I don't really want to go into right now, but um, I'm just there to do some work. But it had, it had a lot of fun. J Justin was you know, so sweet, he stood up, and Haley, his wife, they had just been newly married. I love you, Haley, and she's like, I love you too, across, you know, across the whole location, you know, the whole set. So it was, re it was very sweet, it was a really neat experience. The video came out great. Um, I got a lot of exposure, a lot of FaceTime, so that was fun. I got moved around a couple times, but let me tell you about the funny thing is that no one knew that my feet hurt so bad that I literally couldn't walk to go have dinner when we had a break. And if you take your shoes off, you can't put them back on, right? Those of you that wear high heels, you guys know this. So I was scared to take them off, with that. I, but I'm like, you know what? I can't stand it any longer. They were like cutting into my feet. And it was funny because I walked by Haley, his wife, and she was the only one standing next to her and I had to use the restroom. And I literally was bracing myself against the walls, trying to walk to the bathroom. She's just looking at me like she thought I was crazy or something. It was so funny. I'm like, hi, I love your boots. <laughs> and she's like, uh, feet hurt? I'm like, you think? So she was really cute. She knew what was happening. It was so funny. So I took these dang shoes off because I couldn't walk another step. Had the dinner and had to go back to set and it's called continuity because you have to show being the exact same as you were, you know, to continue filming. And so I told told one of um, the, the assistants, I'm like, you, here's the shoes, I cannot wear them. But if I need them, here's where they are. And so he's like, okay, well keep your feet underneath the tablecloth. So I did, and then at the end, there was the whole dancing part, so I literally didn't get in the front, which I normally would, would have been. I put, was behind some other dancers at the finale when we're all just singing and dancing because my feet didn't match the beginning. So anyways, this kind of little behind the scenes story nobody knows that that shoot almost crippled me. <laughs> it's all good, it was worth the pain. It was so much fun. It's a huge video, the yummy video with Justin Bieber. But what I'm really, really proud of him is that now he's using his voice for Jesus. And you can see I have my blessed hat on because I'm so blessed to work with such amazing artists. She is strong shirt, got my cross on. Um, and I got to actually do an interview outside of the One Day LA where he did a free concert at the SoFi uh, Stadium. It was brand new. We were literally the first group that got to be in that stadium before, where the Super Bowl just was. So awesome. There's like 20,000 people there. Justin was the, the headliner and all he sang was his Christian music. So I'm so proud of him. I got to be, like I said, interviewed before we all went in in front of like 20,000 people, all the cameras are on me. And I just talked about how proud I am of, 
of him not really knowing what was going to happen inside. And he didn't play Yummy, he didn't play any of his Baby Baby and all his, you know, hits. He just sang Christian songs and his pastor was there, who's my pastor's cousin or something like that. My whole church was there and uh, it was just an amazing, amazing experience. So I'm just really honored, very blessed to have worked with such an amazing, talented artist that is now a good Christian boy. So Justin Bieber, I love you. Keep up the good work. You're so uh, about your faith. I love it. And there you go. So that was some behind the scenes, real and raw with Lauren M. Powers. Be strong, be fierce, and be you. Boom.